Welcome happy campers, it's me Amanda here with Cookville RV and Marine and today we're taking a look into this 2022 Grand Design Imagine 2670 MK. But of course, before we get started, don't forget, hit that like button, that subscribe button, leave us some comments below, and also hit that bell notification icon so you get notified every time we post a brand new video. But let's get going. And here we are in our pass-through storage. I love how massive this compartment is. It's really a good place to keep everything you need for your outdoor entertainment space, including your power cord, some of your tools that you may need, and even your outdoor shower attachment. On that side, you have your utility compartment, so that's everything you need when you get to the campground. Also on that side, we have one of two LED lights underneath this uh, storage space here, and those are the uh, switch for the front cap lights there right at the top. Other than that, there's an extra outlet on this side, but it's pretty much what you usually would expect from a Grand Design pass-through storage, easy to clean and really conveniently located. But let's go to the outdoor entertainment space. I mean, can't you imagine hanging out at the campsite after a long day of hanging out in the water with the kids and the friends and the family, and now you've got this lovely Imagine to camp out at and enjoy your night? Check out this gigantic awning. We have it pulled out. It's not pulled out completely, but of course you've got different options. These also change pitch, so if you've got a little bit of rain or some of the water is settling on top, you can just change the pitch and it'll roll right off the top. Check out this under lighting, this LED light here that spans the entire way, even over this exterior slide. But this slide just doesn't get in the way. It actually fits the space really well. There's a little bit of a surprise. As you can see, we have an outdoor kitchen. I love the look of this outdoor kitchen. Really brings the indoors to the outdoors. You've got a nice griddle here. There's plenty of space when you pull it out. And also an electric only mini fridge here for any extra drinks or condiments, say you have burgers or hot dogs, you can keep all of your condiments in your outdoor kitchen. And there's even a gas connection underneath here as well. You can use that to feed your line through. Okay, moving the party inside. First thing you notice, we have our control panel. Lights up when you walk up to it, everything is labeled. And you can see we have our lights on. And this is for all your awnings and slides as well. Here's our Furion air conditioning controls down here. But one thing I want to talk about is right at our entrance, what we can and cannot get to when the slides are closed. So as you can see, how we have our exterior slide right here. It will actually close till about right here. So one small person can slide through if possible. So you cannot actually get to your desk area or your fridge, but you can get to the restroom and you can get to your mask. But we'll get to that later. Let's go into the entertainment space. Okay, here I am on one of two slides that's in this entertainment space. This slide houses your theater seating. You can opt for a trifold, but we've opted for the theater seating with the awesome cup holders. They light up, massage, and they recline. It's a great place to take a nap. And I am sitting in our booth dinette. This actually transforms into a sleeping area. So if you've got one extra guest and you need somewhere for them to sleep, this is relatively comfortable. It's all surrounded by some awesome big windows here. We have the shades down at the moment, but you can see those shades do keep the hot air out and keep it a little bit cooler in the camper. And also those windows open sideways for awesome cross airflow. But other than that, this is a great space and has plenty of opportunity for you to have more than one guest hanging out with you while inside your camper. But let's look at the exciting part, the desk. If you are a remote worker or work from home person, this would be a really good layout for you because check out this desk. All of this area and you have a view to wherever you're parked. Of course, this is the rear of the camper, so sometimes you get a nice stream back there, a mountain view, wherever you choose to travel. One thing to note is that this is not the same height as our island or our countertops. It is, in fact, booth table height. So that's good to notice when you need to buy a chair because it does not come with a chair, but you can customize whatever chair you need and feels comfortable to you. Also check out these drawers. They really upgraded and sort of fixed every little thing in this floor plan. Those drawers used to be a little bit smaller. Now they're pretty good size for a desk or notepads or paper or pens, and they do come all the way out. Check out above here if you need more storage. You could probably fit a printer up here if you're working from home or have any at-home learning things for the kids. But other than that, we've got two outlets underneath here as well as an LED light. Moving on, 
we're going into our fridge area and our pantry area. So check out all of this storage. It goes from top to bottom. You could fit family size cereal boxes in here or any of the other snacks you would like to pack. Also check below this fridge down here. We've got a few more drawers, food bowl for your pooch, or you can have wine holders down here like this one. They really make it convenient so that it doesn't go moving around when you're on the road. But while we're here, let's check into this RV fridge. Notice the way it opens and you can pretty much get to everything. You've got enough space to move around here. This is a pretty good freezer section here too. Everything looks great and super cohesive. Moving on to our island. In the middle of all of this entertainment space, you have this awesome focal point island. It has rounded corners. I love the look of the solid surface countertops here. Stainless steel sink that is, does not have a split. It is one big farmhouse sink with this nozzle that removes. So you can do all your dishes and they give you this drying rack that matches on top. It really fits in there snug and it will stay in there when you're going on the road. Also, plenty of storage here at the bottom for a trash can, maybe a tall kitchen can, and even some extra drawers for utensils and everything else you need. It's very conveniently placed and it's not straight in the middle of this room, so you do have lots of room to move around. And if you've got little ones running around, you won't feel like they're right underneath your feet either. Moving on to our stove, we have a three burner top Furion stove with blue LED knobs. It's really big and we have our hood here as well, but as you can see right above our island, we have our vent fan that is actually on. It helps kind of suck out some of that hot air, including when you're gonna be cooking. So that's really convenient to note. Microwave up top and more storage for cups. Dinner plates can actually fit in here as well, as well as serving trays or anything else big because it is a pretty deep cabinet. Underneath here, we have an LED light, um, and we also have two more outlets underneath this as well. Check out how big this drawer is. I love when they add the utensil drawers that is this big to hold, you know, spatulas for when you're making burgers outside. This drawer can actually house them all. More windows to my right here, and here we are in the final destination of this entertainment space. We have our TV lift, but you wouldn't even see there was a TV there because you can actually utilize the view that looks right outside to your entertainment space. Keep an eye on the kids running around or even see what's going on at the campsite. And down below, we've got our uh, fireplace that doubles as an electric heater. And above that, we have our indoor outdoor speaker system controls, as well as a DVD player all built into one. Before we head back to the bathroom, one thing I wanna note is this mirror they've added in here. More of a decor item, but I appreciate that they've added in a mirror so you don't have to worry about making sure it fits on the wall or it won't fall while you're traveling. But one thing to note, the market is changing, so if there's any small features on this Imagine that you want to make sure that is in the Imagine that you purchase, double check to make sure because some little things may change, faucets or anything like that, just what's going on in the market. But let's move to the bathroom. Now the only bathroom is definitely big enough for the entire family. Check out all of this countertop space. We've got an outlet for any of the styling tools you may need. Pretty large medicine cabinet as well as three drawers and a place for a small trash can down here. We've got towel storage or anything else you wanna keep close to the shower, but you don't wanna keep in the shower. Maybe you don't want it to fall or anything. Over here, we have our porcelain foot flush toilet. And above that, another cabinet for more storage with a towel rack below. Here we are in the shower. I am five foot 11. This is a very comfortable shower. I do have to note that the ceiling heights are really nice for a six foot or maybe even a six one person. Um, if you get over that height, you're definitely going to have to check for yourself. I cannot speak for that, but the shower will definitely be roomy enough. We have our squeegee door. Don't have to worry about any mildew or exterior water dropping down onto your floor. We have our stainless steel removable shower head here. I love this skylight. Everything is pretty usual in here, including the vent fan. We've got another vent fan in here, so you can really make sure it doesn't get too steamy in this camper while you're taking your showers. But let's go into the master into our master which is behind a barn style sliding door so you don't have any doors that are going into the hallway and hitting each other or having an obstacle for people to go around so that's super convenient but check this out we have a queen size res residential bed 
is very comfortable here. No springs, it's not super springy or clumpy or anything. Each has their um, reading light, their own reading light, and they have blue and white settings. Also, cubbies on each side is always a hot commodity. We've got two USB ports for charging devices and an extra outlet for maybe a CPAP machine or anything else you need. And check out this cushioning here behind your head. You don't have to worry about hitting your head or anything and it's definitely easily accessible to get in and out of the bed as well. On each side, we have a wardrobe with a hanging option that is also very, very deep to hold anything else you need as well as more storage on top with these awesome doors that stay up on their own. Two drawers on each side and maybe even some extra outlets on either side as well. Over here, they've added in more storage, another hanging rod. So say you've got guests and maybe they're sleeping in the living room on a trifold sofa or even in that dinette space. They can sort of put some of their clothes in here because you have plenty of room for that. And that is an LED light on the inside. It has motion sensor capability as well. And these drawers are really deep and they're uh, very well made. The tracks are really awesome. So you've got two of those and your fuse box is down here below. So you might want to keep some extra fuses on hand just in case something happens while you're on your trip. But do you have any questions about this Imagine or any other Imagine on the Grand Design line? Leave us a comment below or visit us here at Cookville RV and Marine or online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure awaits.